critical to Canada's energy and economic security, the Prime Minister didn't even raise the topic with President Biden yesterday. How can Canadians believe the Prime Minister when he is no talk, no action? Yes, okay. I have the candidate of record. Uh, as Shadow Minister um, for the Federal Development in Southern Ontario, how do you see the Ontario economy recovering uh, post-COVID-19? Um, well, you know, there are different sectors in the economy and the, the different sectors are going to bounce back uh, differently. Some are um, more resilient than others. For example, um, the mining industry is always cyclic, you know, supply and demand up and down. Um, and that one will depend more on project approvals to move forward. So uh, I think that they will, you know, be re pretty resilient. The petrochemical industry um, will be very dependent on what happens with line five. Um, the governor of Michigan is threatening to shut that line down. That would be hugely problematic for that industry. The uh, tourism and trade sector is one that's really hard hit and it will not bounce back quickly. Uh, it's going to take a lot of government support and likely some incentives for Canadians to travel before we will see that uh, sector uh, come back. And then I would say um, automotive has been... Uh, infused with money from the provincial government and the federal government. So I think that will um, be a very nice uh, soft landing for them. And I think agriculture has been very hard hit. Many of the government programs did not support them well. And, um, you know, the carbon tax, there was two increases to that. They've got the clean fuel standard that has added cost to their business. And uh, I think all those factors are going to mean, mean that they will... Um, they will come back, but it will probably take a year or two for them to uh, get back into the market. Um, other than that, we see that um, uh, manufacturing has not done well. Um, they've been really hard pressed by the pandemic and the many lockdowns. And I think that uh, if we look at restaurant owners and, and things like that, 25% of them will go out of business. The rest of them, if we can get open, um, then I think that they will within six to eight months probably uh, recover. Yes, yeah, I imagine. It, being in Niagara Falls, you can see the stark difference uh, before post-COVID in the area. Uh, it's not great on bills. Okay, so uh, to, to go on something a little different, are you working on any private member bills or anything behind the scenes at all that uh, you would like to mention at all or, or will mention, I should say? Well, you know, as you know, when uh, parliamentarians uh, show up for the parliamentary session, there's a lottery and you get a number and that's your order in the uh, who can bring a private member's bill lottery. And I got number 244 this time, which likely means in this parliament that I'm not going to be able to bring one forward. I did have a great idea for one and it was on pension protections. You know, we're tired of seeing situations like what happened with Sears and you know, other companies where they've essentially um, either walked out altogether on their employees' pensions or, you know, they've gotten 70 cents on the dollar. So this private member's bill would have um, made it more like the banks where you have to keep a certain amount of deposits. So they'd have to declare bankruptcy at the point at which they could um, just cover their employees' pensions. And um, with that, there was also an idea for people that don't have pension plans to uh, buy into one in the way that many of the um, uh, healthcare workers in the provinces are currently uh, participating in one where you can buy in and there's actually a, a volume leverage times five of being part of that group. Uh, and then you can basically be assured of having a pension. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a scheme that some people in the armed forces were using um, back in the, the day. Uh, that's, that's, that's great. Now, um, and lastly, uh, not to keep you, and um, if there is an election held in, say, April, if uh, the Liberals hold one, will you be running uh, in the next election? Yes, I'm the candidate of record, so uh, I certainly will be running if there is an election. Canadians have been clear they don't want to have an election in a pandemic. We've seen the disaster that happened in Newfoundland. We've seen uh, COVID spikes after the PC and Saskatchewan elections. Uh, so I think the only person that wants an election is just Trudeau who thinks he can get a majority. And I think that's putting partisan interests over the, the health and safety of Canadians. So hopefully we won't have one. Yes, yeah, outstanding. Okay, great. Uh, thank you for, for coming at Safe Space Cafe and uh, have a good day. Excellent. Thanks so much for having me and take care. No action.
Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to be able to correct the Honourable Member and point out that, yes, yes no indeed, talk. in no. our extensive bilateral conversations with the Americans yesterday, uh, we brought up Line 5 because it continues to be uh, an important issue.